There is a fashion at the moment that has been for, for a, a number of years for writing books about the mind and about thinking and about rationality, which, whose main theme is to denigrate human beings and denigrate them for being irrational is, is, is basically what it amounts to. It begins with the fact that they, they have some misconceptions about what rationality is or what constitutes rationality. So there's Bayesianism uh, and the atheist movement and that kind of thing, which, which has a hold on something that is connected with rationality, but it's not the whole story and it misconstrues rationality. For example, by concentrating on explicit theories, explicit ideas, and ignoring inexplicit ones or denigrating inexplicit ones. As a result, they would be mistaken even if they had the right theory of rationality, namely Popper's, or augmented with my footnotes. Uh, but even if they had the right theory of rationality, supposing there was a, a Popperian movement based on some book uh, saying how, how, uh, how important Popper's epistemology is and, and deducing all sorts of things like what political party to vote for, uh, how to order your life. Uh, uh, and suppose that, that it was based on the right epistemology, the true epistemology, if it were framed as a critique of most humans, if it were framed as a, an us and them thing where we are the people who understand Popper and they are the people who don't, and therefore we are actually really the only ones who are entitled to make uh, political decisions, uh, we are always right in a dispute with somebody who isn't one of us. You know, it, if it were framed in that way, then uh, it would be a wholly bad thing, even if, even if the actual content were true. And of course, in real life, nobody, not even Popper, has the, the actual truth. And these rationality-based movements don't have the actual truth either, although they all have useful fragments of the truth. They, they, they have, uh, as does everyone, and one can make progress in understanding epistemology and, and um, understanding how the mind works. But we're, we're far from understanding it properly. For example, Perhaps most recently there is the so-called woke movement or political correctness and and before that there was uh, sort of um, postmodernism and uh, structuralism and so on and those are all rejections of of the enlightenment of enlightenment values. Uh, some people say that they are they are a reversion to earlier, uh, ways of thinking with with authority and violence and so on and and they, they do have a tendency to become authoritative and and even violent but i I think they are not that they are they are they don't want to revert to let's say an established religion although they have in common that they and the established religion want to set up an authority but but they're unlike it in many other ways, in, in most other ways. What they are is, is a rebellion against what I have called the, the British strand of the Enlightenment, although I, I am deeply ashamed that I didn't call this the Dutch strand of the Enlightenment, because that is how it began. What is the right theory of rationality? It's Popper's theory that knowledge grows by conjecture and criticism, that there are no uh, sources, authoritative sources of knowledge, that it remains conjectural um, always. This has implications for all sorts of things. It, it, for example, just to take a wild example that wasn't in my previous book, the idea that um, circumstantial evidence and direct evidence are different in kind is a mistake. All evidence is circumstantial. 
and people can be mistaken about what they remember they can be mistaken about what they see they nobody can see causes anyway i definitely don't uh, so my book is some ideas about how reason works and why and what promotes thinking that works and uh, what impedes it. But I don't have a formula for thinking that works. In fact, it's part of Popperian epistemology that there cannot be such a formula because if there were, it would be a touchstone of true and false. You could, you could look into the origin of a theory. Did it arise by this method? If so, it would be more likely to be true. And there is, there just is no such method. Ideas have to be judged by their content, not by their source. And that, that in, includes not only who they come from, but what method they were obtained by. So another, another kind of um, version of, of this uh, wrong kind of take on rationality is, is evidence-based science. Uh, or evidence-based politics, as we've recently seen in where political, where politicians claim to have, quote, based their uh, political decisions on the science. And, and then they are criticized for not doing so. And of course, it's, it's impossible to do so. So they're quite right not to base it on the science. The science is a critique. All, all uh, scientific thinking is critical. One, one should take scientific critiques into account. But that is not the same as basing one's policy on science. And in any case, there are more considerations than just the science. There's also morality. There's also politics as the art of the possible. 